just a bloke in a bar. What's up, guys? Welcome to another Bloke Reacts. This week, we've got Carl Oluwapu. Now, if you listen to Monday's podcast, you would have heard all about this kid. Now, before we get into it, right now, when this goes live, www.bloke.shop currently has everything, 50% off, absolutely everything. And that's only going to last for about another 24 hours, including these jerseys, this jersey. Uh, we've also got a jersey in white. We've got plenty of shirts, heaps of stuff on there, board shorts, singlets, everything. That's at bloke.shop. But let's get into it. Carl Oluwapu. So, Carlo Oluwapu, obviously just transferred from the Broncos to the Bulldogs. Can play in the halves. Ooh, cheeky little bump there. Now, by reports, he's nearly 100 kilos already, which is crazy for a half. Oh! Holy! Uh, those shots hurt the most. That's a bone rattler if I ever saw one. Here we go. I, I love, love his aggression in defense. I mean, how many good halves do we see come out of school? And like, what is their big Achilles heel? It's the defense. So it's awesome to see this kid almost loves defense. Great little kick. Good ball there, good squaring up. Again, you know, at a young age, if they're already got this skill set of basically being out of square lineup, it sounds so simple. It really does. But I'm telling you right now, if they can get it done at an early age, it becomes natural to them. I'm impressed that a lot of this is showing defense. You don't usually see defense on highlights reels. Hit and spin. Strong as Usa. You know, the tough thing about players like this is that they're so big and elusive, but if they can also ball play, they've constantly got... Here we go, the big fella. They've constantly got multiple options whenever they run the ball. Whereas, like, if you're just a good ball runner, you've only got ball running and they can kind of predict it. Little Benji flick out the back. Here he goes. Oluwapu. Ben, right foot. Usa. Try time. Honestly, son. I've got to pause it. Defense, put your body on the line. Oh, come on, bruh. Wow. I mean, I know he's a big fella, but get the shoulder in there. Good ball. Oh, that was silky. That's what I like to see, baby. See, see what I was talking about in regards to multiple options there? That, that just held the defense off long enough to even get a one-on-one -on -one tackle. Boom. Little baby flick. And it's a trot time. Us. I like all these like little effort plays that we're seeing from. Great little... Chip and ch oh, great hands. Fend. I mean, athletically, he looks super impressive. Like just the way his physique, you know, the way he runs, the way he moves. But then he's got his soft hands as well. Oh, yeah. Champagne, baby. Yeah. Like, you know, this kid's impressive, man. Like... It, he's making things that usually look hard look really easy, and that's usually a sign of a good player. Go, son. Go, son. Oh. Like, if this kid is actually 100 kilos, like they're saying, and he's moving like this, wow. Wow. And if, let's say he's not 100 kilos yet. It's He'll probably be 100 kilos because he looks like he's at least, you know, six foot or six foot one. But let's go over this again in more detail. So obviously just signed with the Bulldogs um, and, you know, probably wants to play six or it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Burton in a few years if this guy does kick on to be who he is. Boom! Oh, man. You'll be thinking about that late at night going, oh, wow. Can't find me ribs. They're still in the field. Again, I, what I love about these these kind of highlights specifically is like, look at these like effort plays that like shows that he's in the game. Like he's in the moment, he's fighting for each, every second he's fighting for a win. Whether it's in defense or attack, he's fighting for a win. And you love to see that from a young fella, especially young fellas that are clearly super talented. Like even little stuff like that. Like it's, you won't really, if you if you just watch it quickly, you won't really notice it. But watch, watch what he does here. Pump. So he pumps it once, and then boom, out the back. Just gives his outside men enough time to get the space. Like these are all tiny details that are very hard to teach at a young age and to time well, all that kind of stuff. 
the key will be both sir the key will be is playing against men you know like a guy like him that's 18 years old now he may be big against these boys and, and he may turn out to be big against men as well you know at least when he's like 21 22 but when he plays against men this physicality that he plays with which is i love it it may take him a few years to be able to enforce that physicality in a game because he'll definitely be able to do it like it's not like he's just gonna you know not get bigger himself or stronger um but yeah i mean when you got a kid like this that can do multiple things Yes, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really torn as to where I feel like he'll end up because is he a? Oh, it's so silky, baby. The fact that like th these young fellas that are just getting so good at this stuff, like again, I, you know, maybe I haven't had enough chance, you know, ten years ago to watch young fellas come through, but like, like these no look passes, man. I, I just, a lot of these young kids are nailing this stuff now. Like, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Great flick pass. It's going to be interesting to see where he ends up because, like, Burton seems like an out and out six. Now, as we spoke about in the podcast, Nico Hines, um, you know, he transitioned from a fullback slash six to the best uh, player in the game by Dali M votes at seven. So it's not to say Burton can't do that, but it is going to be interesting to see whether this kid ends up being, you know, maybe a lock or a six and then Burton moves to seven, or maybe this kid ends up being a seven himself. It's going to be interesting to see where he ends up. Look at that ball. And, and, and as I said, like, you could you could maybe find some players his age that have similar-ish ball skill. Now, when I say similar I mean it's still an extremely high level. But when I with him, the special thing is that he's got this soft hands, plus he's a relatively big body, and he loves the physicality of it. Whereas, like, the smaller fellas usually struggle with the physicality of it until they, you know, learn their game later on in their career. Um, but, yeah, that's Carl Oluwapu. Currently with the Bulldogs. Now, they're tipping that he may make his debut in the next year or two. Again, I think that it's all just a matter of like seeing him play against men first to see how far along. Like clearly he's a step above this level uh, playing against other people his age. But when he comes up against men, he may come out and absolutely kill it. Or he may need a year or two to get his body physically ready to handle that contact and handle the physicality of, of men. Um, so I'm really excited because... Players like this that seem to have the whole package, their ceiling is just like, their ceiling's whatever they want it to be. It's just a matter of how hard will he train? How committed is he? How much is he willing to sacrifice to be the best version of himself? But in regards to potential, it's all there. You know, it does remind me a bit of uh, Katoa that recently went from Penrith to Dolphins. Um, you know, his ability to square the lineup at a young age, his ability to have that kind of very smooth, silky ball playing. He makes hard things look easy. Uh, similar to this, to Carl. So really, really excited to see how it goes this year. I'll be keeping tabs on him. Hopefully he'll be in the New South Wales Cup and we can see how he, where he plays for one, but also how he develops over the year. But super exciting stuff. And, and um, it's exciting for the career that is ahead of this bloke. But anyway, until next week, I'll see you next time.